loop line here. In this video, I want to cover how to set up a Dropbox with cloud storage. So it's not completely straightforward, uh, but it can easily be done. So to do that, we're going to go to Tools and Set Up Cloud Storage, and we can see, um, I'm just going to delete that out of there, um, we can see our Dropbox API key and secret key that we're going to need here. To get to that, the easiest way that I can tell you is you can Google for the link, um, you can just go ahead and type it in. I'll put it in the video description below. Um, but I haven't found a link inside of Dropbox, like in my Dropbox account, to the place that you set up the actual uh, API account. So let me just get that for you here. It's this dropbox.com forward slash developers forward slash apps. And so in here, I have a couple of apps that I use for some other Dropbox things I have set up, but basically we're going to create an app. So you can see I'm already logged in to Dropbox, to my Dropbox account. Um, we can create an app. And once we get into the app here's creation, it asks if you want to use the Dropbox API or Dropbox Business API. Now I have a business account, so if you don't have a business account, you're not going to see this. You're just going to see this Dropbox API, which is what we're going to use. And this works fine with free accounts. And you can use an app folder. So if you want specifically to only access uh, a specific folder, obviously you could do that. Uh, this could be useful if you're setting it up for like a, an assistant or a virtual assistant or somebody that you want limited access to. Or you can just go ahead and do full Dropbox. And I'm just going to do full Dropbox. And then I can name my app and we're just going to call it Scrapebox. Call it whatever you want. Um, we're going to create the app. And Scrapebox, one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe that uh, Dropbox uses, you cannot create an app name that has been used by any other Dropbox user. So we'll create the app here and that worked and so we need to do a couple of things we do have to set this redirect URL here and it needs to be just this um, 127 and with the 888 port on the end here so I will also include this in the description down below of the video um, but you're gonna put that in there and click add and once we have added that that parts done we need to view the app key and the secret key now it's important that we don't go messing around with tokens um, and don't ever give out this token because people can access your Dropbox account and get all your stuff delete all your files that would be bad you're only going to use the secret key and the app key here so I'm going to copy these and paste them in notepad um, because if you copy and paste them out of here for some reason it doesn't really work very well for me here so I've got these over here and let's bring Scrapebox back up so I'm going to get my app key here and I'm going to paste that in and my secret key I'm going to paste that in and you actually need that token which I didn't show you in order to get access to the files all these really do is direct Scrapebox to your specific account so these aren't that big of a deal so we're gonna go ahead and hit apply and whenever we go to import here and I'm gonna go import from cloud storage what it's gonna do is bring up these things I'm gonna click Dropbox it's gonna take me to an authorization and so Scrapebox is gonna get that token and it's gonna remain secret and that's all great um, you don't have to worry about any of that if you're a developer that makes sense otherwise all you have to do now is sign in which is very basic and I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I have uh, typed in my username and password and clicked sign in and you can see same account up here uh, and it wants to know if this app can access the files on my Dropbox which is fine I'm going to allow that this should be pretty basic if you've done anything with anything online with signing in with Facebook or Google or Dropbox or anything this is all very similar that part of it um, and so it's going to take a minute here and I'm going to let it connect up and I'll pause the video while it does that so it's up here and you can see I would list all your Dropbox folders here um, and then also we have the option to create folders delete folders and then this is the load section so I don't have anything in there to load so let's put something in there so let's just do like cars here and let me just do a quick harvest grab some URLs so I have something to save and we're good let's export those to the cloud storage here and then we're just gonna do Dropbox and Scrapebox and a type of file name I don't know, just call it test whatever and we can generate a shared link you know if you want to share this it's gonna save and then so let's clear this out and then we can go back to import here from cloud storage as well and go back to Dropbox and let it connect up and then here is our test file and let's load that up we also have the option to delete the file get some stats about the file that sort of thing and away we go and so pretty basic and that is how you can set up Dropbox 
to integrate with the cloud. And again, I'll post those resources uh, that I mentioned in the description down below. If you're not watching this video on YouTube, you can just click it and go over to YouTube itself and it'll be in the video description. And then it's probably worth mentioning, this is if you wanna do the cloud storage, you can also just do like import and click through your regular you know, file structure and import from Dropbox that way. You don't have to get files from Dropbox this way. This way is just a direct integration with Dropbox so that you don't have to go clicking through all those files trying to find Dropbox and then find the file structure that you want. You could just map it right up to a specific folder um, and then also limit access to the Dropbox and that sort of thing. So that is how you can integrate Dropbox directly with Scrapebox. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.